come on, don't be that guy. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 dick moves when playing video games. Level 14 looking ass, oh my god. How did I even do? For this list, we're taking a look at the morally questionable things you can do to irritate and wind up fellow gamers, whether it be online or with your friends in the couch. These won't be specific events like the funeral massacre in World of Warcraft, but instead will be wider concepts that can apply to a variety of games. That's it. Give me the controller, oh, dude. Not me this time. Just give me one. Ugh. Number 10. Ruining someone else's creation. I see flames over there. This is a bad thing. The popularity of survival games with creation and crafting elements has gone through the roof in recent years, and so they were always destined to become a target for ne'er-do-wells intent on destruction. Oh my god. <laughs> this genre of game can be hard enough as it is, let alone with a group of griefers on your tail, they will use any means necessary to destroy everything you have crafted for so long. They might use fire, weapons, or a selection of mods that make it nearly impossible to combat them when playing by the game's rules. Bans and kicks do stop them temporarily, but the free-for-all nature of survival titles makes these occasional spiteful demolitions a difficult nuisance to prevent. So we, press, we, so we press P, and look what happens. The pickaxe starts bouncing, and the building starts exploding. Number 9. Button Mashing it might not be as malicious as other entries on this list, but this horribly random method of desperately trying to get your moves out quickly sure is annoying, and no good whatsoever for the health of your controllers. Generically a tactic employed by rookies of fighting and hack and slash games, it can be surprisingly effective against experienced players that are trying to link together advanced combos. And then they manage to actually get a win, and you're like, no, no. <laughs> No, this can't be happening! We've all had a friend who might as well have been playing with their feet, but don't assign all the blame to these noobs. Poor design and overpowered characters are just as responsible for legitimizing this god-awful approach and turning your favorite fighting title into an incoherent mess. Look, the only way to get better at a game, a fighting game in particular, is to actually learn the fundamentals. Number 5. Showboating Every now and then you're going to come up against someone who is better than you or has already plowed hundreds of hours into online play. It's just an unavoidable reality of gaming. One and two and three and four. Good, work those hammies. Feels good. What we can all do without, however, is that same superior player rubbing their supremacy in your face. Literally. Sadly for those of us who don't have the time to hone our skills, this belittling showing off will be a bugbear in numerous multiplayer games. Until human nature ceases to exist, that is, so don't hold your breath. Griff, how would you rate the humiliation factor? Hi. While we wait for that day, we'll have to endure an unrelenting supply of tea bags and cocky skill move spams. But don't worry, every showboater gets their come up in sooner or later. Ball is out. The kicking team recovers, and here they go. Number seven, choosing to play as an unfair character. Our job owns you. Feel his own itch. Character selection in local multiplayer is always a tense process, as each player scrambles to secure their favorite. We both agreed you couldn't use our job. He's too short, he's impossible to shoot. It gets truly contentious, however, when one sneaky friend starts to slide their selection towards the likes of Odd Job or Meta Knight. These picks will unanimously be met with outcries of dismay and often the unwillingness of others to even begin the game until the offender backs down from their notoriously advantageous selection. <laughs> If you're really that desperate to get an upper hand, then sure, go ahead. Just don't be surprised if you have no friends by the end of what is guaranteed to be a particularly salty party game. <laughs> Number 6. Exploiting lesser known, unfair glitches during online multiplayer. If you aim right at the spot right here, you will actually spot the terrorists if they try to sneak up to Tetris. Also, you can obviously just try and go for the kill. Just because you know about an exploit that will confuse, annoy, and destroy players abiding by the rules doesn't mean you have to use it. Get ready for it! Do 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 it! Please! Please! Do it! Got it! Got it! Got it! Got it! Dramatically skewing online results. High-level exploiters might argue that it's fair strategy due to the effort and skill it often takes to discover safe zones, hiding spots, or buggy mechanics. But developers will be quick to denounce anything that degrades the experience for everyone else. 
I would not advise to play the slam trick in matchmaking, since people that don't know about this might report you for wall hacking, even though you see the light disappear in the demo file as well. Profiting from a specific bug in competitive shooters or arena games is a short-lived enterprise. They're usually rapidly addressed. But with so much content available to modern gamers, it's a constant battle to keep these cheaters away from the online play. I'll do these glitches in private matches every so often just for fun, but I create these types of videos to create awareness so that way you guys know what to expect when you're playing online. Number 5. Spamming A close relative of button mashing, it's again a strategy that many will argue is used by useless players who only hope to do the same, possibly powerful, move over and over. The constant rebuttal to those bemoaning the spammers is, if you were any good, they wouldn't be able to beat you. A fair enough argument when all you're concerned about is winning, but when you care about how the game should be played, it becomes a more complex problem. Worldwide tournament, years of training, is this really how you pictured it? Some strong characters do have movesets suited for repetitive strategies, but just like in a real world sport, they will always be viewed as a cheap option and never remembered as favorably as those that require real skill to master. You know what? I'm coming for you. All right, come on. Ah! You're so Number four, rage quit. As much as gaming can be an escape from our day-to-day -day existence, it can also drive us up the wall and bring out the very worst of us. We've all had an off day with a controller in our hand or feeling that the game is screwing you over. And sometimes the only catharsis we have is this tried and tested method of swiftly bringing a game to a premature end. A similar move to restarting after a loss, it might come in the form of a quick Alt F4 or even an expletive filled throw of the controller. Whatever your chosen method of rage quit, the end result is always the same. You spoil everyone else's fun and realize you've been a kind of a douche. I've made a huge mistake. Number three, unnecessary noise during online multiplayer. <laughs> Okay, so you've already proven yourself a comedy genius, but could you possibly stop blasting grainy Rick Astley through your mic now, please? As you might have gathered by now, online gaming can be an intimidating place to be at times, and this audio invasion will take over your living room. <laughs> Hearing others' emotions and exasperations can be part of an immersive experience. I mean, that's what Let's Players are all about, but this form of noise pollution is guaranteed to force you into pursuing a kick. While you might get a quick giggle from the unusual soundboard app, it gets really tired, really fast. You say that you'll take it all back, give me one chance, was a week of yes and you. Number two, friendly fire. While many annoyances on this list can be reasonably tolerated or countered, this team killing directly affects your ability to take part in the game. Many of us take pride in our serious video game accomplishments, as titles like Rainbow Six Siege allow us to truly feel like technical operators. So when you get paired with a team killing troll desperate for some cheap lols, you might find yourself asking why friendly fire is even possible in the game. No, they didn't get you, your own teammate killed you. Oh, wow. For some, it does add a sense of realism, but others will argue that it gifts griefers with an easy tool to grind your gears. There have even been instances of a player you killed switching sides mid-game to get revenge. Nice work, douche. Who killed us? Heal me, heal me! Bastard! Kobe, kill him and heal me. Before we reveal our top pick, let's have a look at some honorable mentions. Congratulations, you have an enemy no matter where you go on this server. And you know what? Vanquisher will drop next week and we'll take care of it then. Look how far away I wall bounced and he still caught me with that. That's why that's how you know this game is bullshit. It's a lot more fun to win a game than it is to lose one, and people know this. And what better way to feel superior to others than to deliberately rank down so you're effectively a god amongst men? Number one, hacks. The trolling community is generally a determined group. But none can match the perseverance and skill demonstrated by hackers who can alter the very mechanics of your virtual world. Number 2. 
Mods are fair enough when it's single player and only your game's stability is at risk. But when random objects are spawned or attached to other players, it's not only irksome, but can tear the fabric of your server apart. These players will often be impossible to kill, as they force their idea of fun upon other gamers who are just trying to enjoy the game that they bought. We will end on a note of hope for all you honest gaming citizens, however. Revel in this virtual execution of a notorious Guild Wars 2 hacker. That's justice. Hey. Do you agree with our list? What type of gaming dickery do you dread falling victim to? Jesus Christ, all right, maybe it won't slip up. For more gaming top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. I'm <laughs> <laughs>